Hey everybody, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be talking all about the books that I read in almost said July. All of the books that I read in August, I read I read five and like a half kind of books this month. I'll explain later. Some people read crazy amounts of books and I don't even know how they do it. I just watched two reading wrap-ups where the girls read 20 and 17 books this month. And I'm sure I will watch reading wrap-ups of people that I follow that read more than that. And I just don't even know how you find the time. That's like a book a day. That's crazy. I wish I could read that many books, but that's just, that blows my mind. But I read five, and like I said, kind of a half-ish books. So we are going to be talking all about those. I'm going to be giving you my ratings, my opinions. Let's just go ahead and start talking about the books that I read this month. I need to go get the physical copies. I don't know why I didn't already do that. All right, these are the two physical books that I read and then I read three books on my Kindle app on my phone. We're just gonna go ahead and talk about the two physical books that I read and then we will talk about the ones that I read on my Kindle. First of all, I read I read The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. This is the first book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. I actually just bought Terms and Conditions, which is the second book. I thought this book was a little thick, Terms and Conditions is gigantic. <laughs> this book is about Rowan and Zara. Rowan's family owns Dreamland, which is like Disney World basically. His grandfather dies and so then he leaves a bunch of stuff in his will for his grandchildren to inherit. So Rowan is supposed to be overseeing all of the creatives and he is supposed to have them come up with an idea and then he's supposed to make it even better to better dreamland whether that's an attraction or a ride or a concept or just some changing something about the park he's supposed to better dreamland and then he can inherit all of his money that he was left and zara is a worker at dreamland and she becomes one of the creatives and then you know they fall in love or they go through the ups and the downs of falling in love. It's very much Grumpy Sunshine. This is probably the most Grumpy su grumpy Sunshine book I've ever read. Rowan is very grumpy, very mean towards literally everybody else except for Zara. I heard someone talk about this book saying that Rowan is very flashy with his money and he basically like uses it to get Zara's attention, but I didn't interpret this book like that at all. I did not interpret Rowan like that at all. I don't think he realizes how much privilege he has. I don't think he realizes how crazy the things he can do with his money is and so he just thinks it's normal but Zara's like this is a little crazy um the things that you can get with your money. I rated this book four stars. It was really really good. I am like a binge reader. That's not even how I like to read my books. That's just how it ends up being so I'll read like the first hundred pages and then I'm like okay I'm sick of the, how long this is taking and I'll just sit down and finish the rest of the book in one sitting so that's what I did with this I literally read like the first hundred pages and then one day that I had off of work I was just like okay I'm finishing this book and I read it like all day and I finished it it did take me a little while but I'm just also kind of a slow reader then I read Confess by Colleen Hoover I hadn't read a coho book in a really long time so I was in need of a good Colleen Hoover book and Confess was really good this this is kind of one that's a little less talked about. It's not as popular as her other books, but I thought it was really good. It definitely captivates you and keeps you intrigued the whole time you're reading it. The two main characters are Owen and Auburn. From the jump, the male main character, Owen, talks about how he's known Zara for a really long time and they don't tell us how he's known her until the very end so that keeps you really intrigued because you're like how does Owen know her so you read all the way till the end and obviously they eventually tell you but it's a very sad book Auburn is down on her luck nothing's going right for her she is just trying to figure out life and then she stumbles across an art studio and there's a sign outside that says hiring Owen pulls her in and is like I need you to work for me and she's like okay gotcha She's very low on money and he's like, I'll pay you $200 for the however many hours you work for me tonight. And she's like, sounds like a deal. Or I think it was that much money. I don't remember. And so she works for him and then they become friends. And then obviously they become a little bit more than friends. And there's just a bunch of different things that happen. There's quite a few plot twists. That's all I'm going to say about that so I don't reveal anything else. I also rated this four out of five stars. Not my fave Colleen Hoover book, but definitely not my least favorite. And it's really cool because she collaborated with a professional artist. Basically the art studio I was talking about a minute ago, Owen owns it. 
and people will write in their confessions and then he turns them into paintings so she collaborated with a professional artist and got the artist to create these paintings for the book and they're actually beautiful so that's really cool then on my kindle app on my phone i started reading the mind f series by st abby i read the first three books they're pretty short books i read the risk sidetracked and scarlet angel i gave the risk five stars because it was the start of the series it introduced you to the characters and uh basically if you don't know what the series is about it's about a girl named lana and a guy named logan he is part of the fbi lana is actually a serial killer so it's giving like dexter meets criminal minds vibes and those are two of my favorite shows dexter's like my second favorite show of all time but it's giving those vibes and it's great i love that they like switched it up where the girl's a serial killer because usually you would think that a guy is a serial killer and no Lana is just this boss lady, even though she is a serial killer, she's got good reasoning behind it, which is why it's kind of like Dexter, she's just a vigilante killer. Not that I'm saying that it's okay to kill anybody, but when you realize, when you find out why she's doing this, you're like, oh, kind of understandable. <laughs> but Logan and Lana meet and they fall in love and the FBI is actually looking for Lana but he, they don't know it's Lana. They're looking for this serial killer and Lana's like shoo that's me but I'm only on the fourth book so I don't know what happens in the end of the series but I rated the first book five stars. I rated the second book three stars and the third book four stars. The second book was kind of just place filler in my opinion. It wasn't anything crazy but then the third book there are some crazy things that happen and right now in the fourth book it's really really good. Um, I really want to finish it. I really want to finish the whole series but that will be in my September TBR is to finish the rest of the series but yes I read the first three books in the Mind of series by S.T. Abbey. Very good. I can already predict that overall it's probably going to be a five star series but so far the first three books were really good. And then I started reading After We Collided by Anna Todd. I am 128 pages in and this book is so thick. Oh, I find myself getting into reading slumps whenever I read books this big. I try to break it up in my mind because this book's a little over 600 pages. I try to break it up into my mind to like make it easier on myself to be like, oh, I'm just reading two 300 page books. And no, that just doesn't actually work in my mind. So I might end up taking a break and not finishing this. I'm not really sure. I got the after series for Christmas this last year and I really wanted to finish it before Christmas this year. I don't know if that'll happen because the next book is even bigger than this one. So I just get really intim intimidated by big books. I'm scared I'm gonna get bored. And I also just have so many other books I wanna read and I'm not a fast reader. So this will take me like two weeks. I'm not joking. So. I had wanted to try to finish it by the end of this month, but that didn't happen because it's currently September 1st, so. Those are all of the books that I read this month. I actually read more than I thought I was going to. Um, on my TBR for last month, if you watched that video, I had the fine print, I had Confess, and then my third book that I really wanted to finish was After We Collided, but I didn't do that. Um, but I also said I wanted to start the Mind F series and I actually got through the first three books so that was more than I thought I was going to. I, like I said, I'm a slow reader and I also just do to give, give one, give myself enough time or two, even really have enough time. I work almost every night so I, I could read during the day but I have other things that I need to get done during the day so it's hard to find time to just sit down and read a lot. I'm proud of any amount of books I read during the month because it's not a race. I don't like to force myself to read so if I'm not in the mood to read I'm not going to read because what's the point? Those are all the books I read this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you go like, subscribe, comment, and turn on my post notifications so you get a notification every time I upload. Go follow me on all my social medias. They're always linked in the description down below. That's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so so much and I'll see you next time.